Today's topic is Peer O, Obsessive Intrusive Thoughts, and how to stop rumination, the main driving compulsion behind Peer O. Hi, I'm Paige Pradko. Welcome to Therapy for a Better Life. Before we get started, I want to take a moment and ask you to help me with my passion. My passion is sharing mental health, help, and information. And you can help me doing that by subscribing to the channel or sharing any of my videos and liking and commenting. All of that activity helps move me up on the algorithm for YouTube. I appreciate it. Now today's topic, Pure O, and how to stop rumination is based on some of the writings and uh, talks of Dr. Michael Greenberg. Dr. Michael Greenberg is another cl clinician and he has pure O. He believes it is really under control now, but he can relate to treating pure O because he has struggled with it. Now, according to Dr. Greenberg, we have the ability to make a decision to stop ruminating. I'm gonna get a little bit more into that. Now, first of all, somebody with, um, with OCD or pure O, uh, as Dr. Greenberg kind of describes, that they have this fear that they are going to make some irreversible mistake that will cause them incredible emotional suffering that they will have to live with. And so they are really trying to do whatever they can, you know, avoidance behavior and compulsion behavior, anything that they can to not make this mistake. Now, when we talk about pure O, it is almost like there are these two different thoughts that create a loop. And the thoughts are, if I have this fearful, terrible thought, what if that thought is true, but I don't believe it's true? And the second thought is, I have this fearful, horrible thought. What if that thought is false, but I make the mistake of thinking it's true? And so these two concepts keep the rumination going. And rumination is analytical thinking. Analytical thinking, according to Dr. Greenberg, is something that you do on purpose. You make a decision to do it. You're trying to prove these thoughts right or you're trying to prove these thoughts wrong. Uh, but the, the rumination is the compulsion that keeps pure O going. And so let me take this a little bit further. Dr. Greenberg gives a great analogy. He said that, like, pretend that you're solving a math problem. Let me give you a math problem to solve. Now, I want you to stop solving the math problem. We can do that, right? That is analytical thinking. Solving a math problem is analytical thinking. The same as rumination. Rumination is analytical thinking. You make a decision to do it. It's coming from you. So it is not the initial thought, the very initial thought that you had, the fearful thought, the thought that scared you. That thought we can't stop. You know, we, we have 60,000 or more of those a day. We can't stop a thought that initial thought, but every single thing after that initial thought is rumination. And that is analytical thinking, and we can stop that, just like we can stop a math problem. So what Dr. Greenberg suggests is that you identify a, a problem, a thought, something that you ruminate about. And then your job is, your only job, is to not solve it. Just not solve it not all that mental activity, all that what if activity. Don't try to push it away or try to forget about it. You're gonna be very passive about, it's just gonna kinda of hang there maybe till it goes away on its own, it's just gonna hang around. Um, it doesn't matter if it's there. Your only job is to not solve it. Now, if you feel like you just can't, like you can't stop, it just, you just keep ruminating, 
what he says you're doing is justifying it, that you're justifying that you need to ruminate when he says you can just stop. Now, if you're trying to make a decision about ruminating or not ruminating, he said, well, then you're just ruminating about ruminating. <laughs> it gets complicated, right? Now, these thoughts can still pop into your mind. Your only job is not to solve it, not to work on it. Now, I did a, a video recently where I, the video is entitled, you know, intrusive thoughts, puro intrusive thoughts and how to stop them in the moment. Now, I go through a technique I called I am, where you identify the thought and you allow the thought. These kind of things are very similar to what Dr. Greenberg is saying. The piece where it's different, as I say at that point, connect to the moment and then move on. Now, he doesn't have the connect to the moment part, the mindfulness part. I think that is a nice intermediate step. If you cannot just stop right now, like he is suggesting, connect to the moment in a mindfulness way. I describe it in more detail and I'm gonna leave a link to that video where I describe my I am method. It's just a nice method. Sometimes we need to take our brain somewhere else for a moment before we can let it go. He might disagree with that. <laughs> But this is my own my own take on it. So I, I think it's up to you though. I want you to try to do what uh, what is best for you. And if you can make a decision to stop ruminating, this is going to be very helpful in, in stopping that cycle of rumination so that these thoughts will just, you know, on their own not, not be so bothersome to you. So I hope that the video was helpful. And uh, until next time, I will see you in session. Take care. Bye-bye.